Hey guys, on to today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at the latest update for Mac, alright, plus iMovie, alright, so th this update does come with an iMovie update, and um, you shouldn't have to go to this website, by the way, to get this update. So, let me just show you. So here's Apple, just in case you guys could go to this URL up here, alright, I'm not going to type it in the description because I don't recommend going to it, but you can, alright, so... Uh, to do the update, just go right up here to the left hand side, top left hand side. You guys will see your Apple logo. Go into App Store. All right, so that's your third thing right there. This should load up. So here's my App Store. Um, if you guys don't see updates right away, you guys might see this featured. So just up here, you guys will see updates. Just click there. I'm going to zoom out. Sorry about all the zooming in, zooming out, but I need to show you guys. Um, and you guys will see this update. So before I click on it, this will restart my computer, right? So this update will update your Safari, will update pretty much everything within your computer. It's not a humongous update, but it does take uh, a bit of time, right? So be prepared to put aside at least 30 minutes, just in case, all right? Just in case you guys have slow internet, 30 minutes. And on that, on average, you're looking at 15 minutes. However, um, out of three computers that I've done this update to, one of them got stuck, and two of them, um, after it did the restart process, it displayed a blue screen for a second, right? And one of them displayed that blue screen for a little bit longer than the other one, so I know some people freak out about that, but don't worry about that blue screen. Um, if your computer does get stuck, you just have to do a hard restart, so that's just by pressing the power button right so you guys might have to do that if it gets stuck like I said after three computers one of them got stuck and two of them had a blue screen right after so I'm gonna describe what's gonna happen so what, what are you guys gonna do you guys are gonna press on update all all right or you guys can update one thing at a time so I'm just gonna press update all all right so this will download and restart your computer so that's why I said put some time aside uh, back up your computer. I would use Time Machine for sure to back my computer up so I can go back to it at any time. All right. And um, for sure, for sure, do that backup before you make this update. Just in case. All right. Just because for me, one computer got stuck. Just in case. It's good to have that backup. So I'm not going to press download and install right now because the video will just end right now. Um, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. So, once you guys do that, um, you guys will see after on your screen a black screen with an app logo, a loading bar. Once that loading bar is done, you might see a blue screen for a couple of seconds. After those couple of seconds are done, you're good to go, all right? And then everything will be fine. If your computer does get stuck, um, it will get stuck at a black screen. Um, I would assume that it's stuck if it's there more than 45 minutes to an hour, all right? If it's there for that amount of time, then yes, it's stuck. Just press your home button, not your home button, sorry, your power button, and then just do a hard restart on it. Um, you guys can hold on to it until it turns off, if it's not off, and then turn it back on. Uh, you guys can hold on to it until it restarts, and that's about it, all right? So you guys should be fine. If it restarts, it's just gonna do the update anyways regardless it's gonna install that update and then you're good to go after the update have we seen any glitches not really um, from those three computers that I've done so far this one's the fourth one we'll see what happens but from my experience so far you guys shouldn't freak out if you see a blue screen and again if it gets stuck don't worry about it just restart it anyways I'm gonna press update on this thing and then it's gonna restart and I won't be able to record that uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.